can definitely uh, definitely see the emotion right now. So just talk about how important this this night, this victory was for you. Man, just save my job, you know. When the pressure's on, it's on, man. I love it, you know. Just save my job, you know. I had a great performance, and I'm excited, man. I'm happy. How did that feel coming in? I mean, you were pretty open about it, right? You knew that it was all Yeah, man. It, it, there's no if and buts, man. You know, you lose two in a row in the UFC, you might get cut. They gave me another shot, you know, because I fought injured my last fight and, you know, the whole Jesse Taylor thing. And they're like, all right, here we go. We'll give you one more. And they finally gave me a freaking MMA fighter, man. My last two fights was a blanket. It's like, oh, come I was like, my goodness, man. So then, you know, just a great matchup, and, you know, man, I got plenty in the tank. <laughs> First UFC win since November 2014. Like, how does that feel to just get the, the win and just, you know, take me through these last couple of years just trying to, you know, get back in the UFC and get that win again? Man, it's been a rough road, man. 2014, huh? Yeah, that's like four years, man. And it was rough, man. It was rough, but... God was with me by my side, man, and he just kept pushing me, kept pushing me, and I believe in myself, man. I believe. I know how good I am. I've said that. You can look from interviews back in 2013. I know how good I am. It just, it wasn't time yet, man. It wasn't time, man. I believe it's just starting now. Did you expect to finish Chad that quickly? I mean, he had been knocked out, mm. but he's also, you know, he's, he's had some durable fights as well. Not at all, man. I was ready for a three-round war, man. The plan was, you know, make him think we we're going to strike, you know, take it to the ground you know he his last fight ever since he moved up to 170 everybody has fought this dance with him you know that's all they did they danced with him he hasn't fought a real 170 yet where they can grab him and real feel that 170 strength you know and I was much bigger than him I saw that way ends man and that was the plan you know that's what we we're gonna wear him down take him down beat him up and you know it happened it happened did you know it was over the moment for sure, man. You know, I said it in the interview before, man. Guys that hit guys like that after after a punch like that, they're 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 douches, man. You know, you can see it. You can see like if somebody falls, their hands are down and they're looking up. It's like, what are you gonna hit them for? You know, if he fell and did this right away, then of course you gotta go for the kill. You know, but somebody falls with their hand down and their eyes, it's like no emotions in the world. I don't care how happy you are, you're able to see that. You know, and. You know, I saw it. I knew it was over. I would think, though, after losses and frustration, it might be hard. I mean, I, it might be hard, like, to not take out your frustrations on this guy. That's exactly what I mean. You know, I had a lot of it, and I still saw it. So if somebody ever says, oh, it's just emotions got to me, they're lying. You know, that's, that's bull. They're lying, and they're just mean. <laughs> what comes next for you? I mean, this was a huge step. You saved your job. Mm -hmm. What comes next? Uh, we'll see, man. I got a great manager, you know, Sean Shelby, Dana White. They do their job. I don't worry about things I can't control, you know. I am going to enjoy the swim. Got Christmas coming up, New Year's, man. I have three kids. I just live day by day, man. Whatever comes my way, I'll be ready. Hey, Diego, over here, you know, your brother has had a clean kale like that in a couple of years. <laughs> ah, yeah. yeah. Finally. <laughs> oh, Brandon Rice, man. Oh, Brandon Rice, man. He He's a jiu-jitsu guy now. His last fight was a submission, you know. He's a jiu-jitsu guy. I'm the KO guy now. <laughs> you write that on the book, by the way. <laughs> you know, Chad from Ontario, uh, mm -hmm. your other UFC win, which you mentioned earlier, was uh, mm -hmm. against Brazilian in Brazil. Yeah. So, like, he, he's going to people's home. I think so, it. man. I think so. This was, what, my seventh fight? My seventh fight in Canada, but against the fifth Canadian, and I beat all of them. So, you know, just bring me back to Canada and let me fight a Canadian. I'll be all right. <laughs> yeah. You mentioned fighting in Canada. Mm -hmm. You started your career in the MFC. Mm -hmm. you know, is Canada still near and dear to your heart? Just, oh, that of course, man. That was my first My first knockout was in Canada on TV. Yeah. You know, I fought Bill Frazier. Yeah. I was 3-0 and at the time. That was my first knockout. And then Douglas won the belt in the main event. So he got submission that night and got a knockout that night. Night. So man, it it, just, it was amazing, you know. Canada, I just love Canada, man. It just it just feels home for MMA for us. It really does, man. When we see you tell my coach, oh, we're fighting Canada, it's like yes, you know. We just get excited because it's where we started, man. Everything started. We made a name for ourselves here, so it was awesome. Are you gonna call that? Are you gonna call that GSP now? GSP, yeah, right, yeah, man, that's a that's a good one, you know. GSP, <laughs> fight me in Canada, man, in Toronto, yeah. <laughs> Man, I'm happy like this all the time. You can ask Sean, man, the guys from MMA Junkie, they interview me before. They're like, man, why are you so happy, you know? I have nothing to worry about, man. I have big faith in God, and he takes care of all my problems, and I just live life and 
do what's in God, do good what's in God's eyes, and He'll repay you for it. And that's how I live every day, man. You won't catch me one day where I'm not smiling, unless I'm cutting weight. Then there's, a, you know, then there's a. But I'm just a happy guy, man. That's just, that's how I live. This is how I am every day. Big, uh, big celebration plans happening. You're feeling good right now, Diego. So. Nah, just burger, French fries, man. Right now, and that's pre it's coming up pretty soon. You know, get a big old burger, some French fries, and you know, enjoy some food for a week for sure. <laughs> In your post fight interview, you got down on your knees. It, it was a bit unclear to us just to hear what you were saying. What were you asking for a bonus? Oh, yeah, for sure, man. I was just telling Dana, you got to put your name out there, man. And then I saw him backstage as well. And I was like, come on, man. You saw it, you know. Got to give him something extra to think about, man. I got the crowd into it. I don't know if you guys could hear it or not. But once I asked them on my knees, they were, the crowd got into it. I was like, all right, I think I got this. So we'll see. <laughs> He said, man, there's plenty of fights left. I was like, good, yeah, good, but we'll see. You know, this or that is following up. This side is keep going to a decision. So it, we're going good so far. We'll see. What would that, what would that extra 50 grand mean to you financially? I mean nothing, man. Like I told you, dude, I have nothing to worry about, man. I'm happy the way it is. If it comes, it's a blessing. If it doesn't, I don't care, man. If it does come, I'll just be helping out a lot more people in Christmas, you know. That's all it means, man. Money's nothing, dude. Money comes and goes. I made a lot of money before. I've had nothing before. It doesn't bother me at all, man. I'm the same way with it or without it, you know. Do you know if anyone bet on this fight? Because I don't know if you saw it. You winning in round one was something like plus 1,300. No way. Oh, man. I should have told my friend that. <laughs> that's a good. I didn't know that. So that's crazy. What, what was the normal odds, though? I mean, not that high, usually. I mean, uh, just I think the, the odds of you beating your winning. Beating him by knockout. Oh, high, wow. So. Hey, hope somebody put up that money. Hey, send me a percentage. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> good. Thank you, bro. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you, man.